Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we have the first match in the Conmebol Libertadores group stage coming right up. It's Emelec, and they take on Palmeiras. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdog. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game, and I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And so the battle commences. Promising attack this. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Could pick out a teammate. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Cabeza. Caicedo with it. The room to roam on the wing. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Oh, the flag's gone up, and there wasn't much in that. They look as though they want to make this move count. And a chance to whip it in here. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Well, not the best clearance. And able to close down the shot. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Intercepting it intelligently. In behind for him to chase. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. It comes to absolutely nothing. Cabeza. Rojas on the ball. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? But they dealt with the threat first. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. won the ball terrific block 
A chance now with the corner. Playing it short. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Pulls it back. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. Zapata in possession Caicedo Cabeza chance to do damage an attack full of promise can they get themselves in front here and a goal to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So underway again here, one nil the score. Ball played nicely. Well, they know they need to stop him. He got in the way of that cross. Wonderful chance. And a goal to level this contest, all even. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? That is that for the first half here. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Well, high quality defending. Could be a chance to break here. to deliver the cross and it's with Rodriguez real chance and there is the goal to re-establish their advantage well 
Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. And a good tackle. 30 minutes left for play. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? They look as though they want to make this move count. A tidy ball. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. It needs an accurate cross. This could square the game. What a block! Read it magnificently and intercepted. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Zapata Caicedo with it plenty of players waiting in the middle a decisive clearance it was and an astute piece of defending so almost at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? And forward they go, chasing the game. Oh, he's given the ball away. Five minutes left. Zapata. In possession, Cabeza. He really read that brilliantly. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And there goes the final whistle. A positive result for the fans in attendance here. Maximum points to begin the campaign. And Stuart, they can go home happy. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.